I'm Laurie Thomas with the University of Kentucky Forestry and Natural Resources Extension, and I'm here with the tree of the week, the sourwood. Sourwood, Oxydendrum arboreum, is a member of the Ericaceae or heath family. It is the only species in the Oxydendrum genus. It is also known as sorrel tree or lily of the valley tree. Sourwood is a small to medium sized tree that grows 40 to 60 feet tall and about 8 to 15 inches in diameter. It reaches its largest size on the western slopes of the Smoky Mountains. Sourwood develops a slender trunk and a small crown in dense stands. In more open situations, it forms a short, often leaning trunk dividing into several stout ascending limbs. It is a beautiful landscape tree and the flowers are an important source for honey production. Sourwood is native to the upland forest of the southeastern United States. Like most of the Ericaceae, sourwood generally does not grow on soils of limestone origin, but is most commonly found growing in slightly acidic, well-drained soils. It is classified as somewhat shade tolerant. Sourwood is an understory to mid-canopy tree in numerous upland forest types that include post, chestnut, black, and white oak, as well as Virginia, shortleaf, and loblolly pine. Sourwood is a deciduous tree with alternately arranged leaves, as you can see in the photo. The leaves are simple in form, lance-shaped about 4 to 7 inches long, and the leaf margins are finely serrated, and the underside midrib has small hairs. The leaves are green above and pale below, and fall color is outstanding, with colors ranging from red to purple to yellow, and these can often be found on the same tree. And the leaves have a sour taste when chewed. Sourwood is monoecious with small white flowers. The flowers are about a fourth of an inch long and they're kind of urn shaped and they're in drooping panicles and the flowers resemble lily of the valley flowers. The panicles of flowers have also been said to resemble a bony witch's hand. It is one of the latest flowering trees with flowering occurring from late June to August. The flowers are insect pollinated, thus an important source for honey production in some areas. The fruit is a very small capsule. The five valved capsules are between one fourth and a half an inch long and they're in those drooping panicles. When the capsules mature, they are dry and they split open and release very tiny two winged seeds. Fruit mature in the fall between September and October and the seeds are gradually dispersed through winter by wind. Sourwood is also capable of vegetative reproduction through stump and root crown sprouting. It is a prolific sprouter. The bark is grayish brown and is very thick and has deep furrows and scaly ridges. The ridges are often broken into identifiable rectangles. The wood of sourwood is hard and close grained. The heartwood is a reddish brown and the sapwood is paler. Sourwood is not a commercially important timber tree, but the wood is used locally for tool handles, fuel, and mixed with other hardwoods for pulp. The wood was once used for wagon sled runners. Sourwood flowers are very attractive to bees and sourwood honey is common in the south. The honey has a medium to light color with a heavy body and it's slow to granulate. The flowers are attractive to butterflies and other insects. Natural hollows and older trees provide shelter for climbing reptiles and amphibians, bats, and other small wildlife. Sourwood is one of the species that is host for the fall webworm tents. The caterpillars in the tents attract birds by providing fall invertebrate food. Flowers are quite attractive to bees and the honey is highly sought after. Sourwood is a great specimen tree. It's basically a tree for all seasons. It has lovely abundant flowers that open in midsummer and they curve upward creating a graceful effect at flowering time. There's excellent fall color, some of the best in the south. The colors range from red to purple to yellow and the hanging panicles of fruit capsules provide winter appeal. The national champion sourwood is in Amelia, Virginia. It's 130 inches in circumference, 74 feet tall, with a 47 foot crown spread. The Kentucky champion sourwood is in Bell County at the Cumberland Gap National Park. It's 68 inches in circumference, 66 feet tall, with a 32 foot crown spread. If you'd like to know more about champion trees, check out American Forest Champion Trees or check out the Kentucky Division of Forestry Champion Trees. Now for a few fun facts about sourwood. The flower blooms resemble lily of the valley flowers, hence one of its other common names, lily of the valley tree. The name sourwood is de derived from the sour, pungent taste of the leaves. The Cherokee and the Catawba used the shoots of sourwood to make arrow shafts. 
pioneers used the sap as one ingredient in a concoction used for treating fevers, the bark for chewing to soothe mouth pains, and a leaf tea for treating intestinal discomforts. The scientific genus name Oxydendrum comes from the Greek words oxys and dendron, which mean acid tree, and it refers to the sour taste of the leaves. I'm glad you joined me to learn about the sourwood, and I hope you get the opportunity to get out into your woodland, local park, or neighborhood and enjoy the stunning sourwood.